I think we're gonna try a little weekend in my life vlog. I've never done like a full weekend in my life, so we're gonna see how this goes. We'll see if I actually follow through with like posting it and filming the whole weekend. So right now I actually just got off of work at 12 on a Friday because today is employee appreciation day and they let us out at 12, which is so nice. So that like made my day. And so now I'm gonna go stop at Starbucks, get myself a little drink. Then hopefully I'll go for a walk this afternoon and we'll see where the weekend takes me. I really don't have like a ton of plans. So this might not even see the light of day because it might be a very boring weekend binge watching WandaVision because today is the finale of the show. Anyway, let's go to Starbucks. Okay, I just got to Starbucks. The line is a little long. But it's okay because I have a gift card that I need to use and I like never go to Starbucks anymore just because it's not like on my way to anything like I'm I'd much rather go to a local coffee shop that's like close by that I can walk to but I have a gift card that I need to use and I just heard that Starbucks started offering oat milk oat milk i'm really excited i'm gonna try their oat milk i'll film my reaction so you guys can see you've probably already tried it by the point that by the time that this video is coming up but it'll be fun to show no that's gonna be everything all right that's gonna be 11:28, please thank you so much oh wait thank actually you. one last thing if it's not too late to change could i get the um ice chai with light ice sure no problem okay perfect thank you so much thank you enjoyed this trip back in time to talk about the Salem witch trials necessary and I don't think it's the first time this has happened either I feel like Taylor thank you so much thank you awesome thanks thank you so much you too have a great weekend okay so I have acquired the drink Exactly what I ordered is a vanilla iced chai latte with cold foam, with oat cold foam and oat milk. So I am a huge oat milk fan. I When I go to Starbucks, I usually get it with almond milk, but it's just not the same. And I try not to do dairy because dairy plus caffeine is just like not a good mix for my body. So I'm really hopeful that this is good because once I start going back to the office, which will probably be this summer, I'll probably be going to Starbucks more. So let's see how it is. Actually, I'll take off my sunglasses. Ooh. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Also, they gave me like barely any cold foam. What the heck? That is expensive. But wow, this is so good. Okay, yeah, huge fan. Oh, and I also got it with light ice. That's a key. Um, wow, I feel like it's it's so good. And I just I have become the kind of person where it's hard for me to go to Starbucks and do not get cold foam. Like the cold foam is just so freaking good. It's so, like, it's just a treat. Like, this is like a dessert. This is not like a normal drink. This is a dessert. It's just so sweet, but in a good way because I like really sweet drinks. I much prefer them to be sweet over bitter. My overall review is I love it. So good. And then I also got a very simple grande mocha latte for Ryan because that is what he usually likes when we go to Starbucks. Oh my God, it legit feels like summer outside. Oh cute, there's a lady smoking behind my car. Um, So the weekend vlog was a flop. I literally didn't film anything else over the entire weekend. So it is now Thursday and it's after work. It's like 4.30 and it is 60 degrees out my car says that it's 71 but that's definitely wrong because i just turned it on but the high was like 65 today so that wouldn't be too far off base so it is so nice out it's 4 30 and i'm meeting up with one of my friends that i honestly can't remember the last time i saw her i don't know if i've seen her since 
the pandemic started, which is a year ago at this point. So I haven't seen her in so long and we're gonna go to the beach and I'm gonna meet her dog. And I'm so excited to like do something fun after work and be outside and it's so nice out. So I just had to take you guys with me. Let's go to the beach. This vlog is just all over the place at this point. If I didn't say that yesterday, then it definitely is now because today is now Friday. So it's the day after the day that I went to the beach. And that was so much fun. It was so beautiful. It was like, it got a little colder because it got later, obviously. And it was like 55 degrees, which is like the perfect kind of temperature for a light jacket to be outside. And it was so great to see my friend and I got to meet her dog and it was just so great. Like I forgot what it felt like to have sun on your skin and like feel the sun. So it was just a very rejuvenating, amazing experience. It was great. I worked from home today and now it is Friday night and I'm actually all by myself. And I figured to end off this vlog, I would just kind of like chat with you guys. So this week I have been probably like most of the world ab absolutely obsessing over the royal family because of the Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and Oprah interview that was on Sunday. And so I've been listening to this podcast all about Princess Diana and it's called the the podcast is called You're Wrong About and then they do like different series about different topics in history and I it is definitely becoming one of my favorite podcasts and I've never heard it before this series that I'm listening to about Diana and it is amazing. I love the hosts, they're so fun. They have great commentary about everything. I'll link to that in the show notes, or <laughs> I'm so used to saying show notes because of my podcast. I will link to that in the description if you wanna check out that podcast, it's super good. The reason why I'm saying that is because right now I'm actually watching the um, documentary on Disney Plus called Diana in Her Own Words, which is super well done and just very interesting to hear Diana's perspective like on her own life because so often her story is just told from other people's perspectives of what they think she was feeling so this is really great it's it's mostly so it's like a voiceover because she did these recorded interviews but not like on film so it's her voice like across the whole thing and then actual footage of whichever event in her life that she's talking about so it's really good and I'm loving it so I've just been sitting here with my rosé for the night and once I finish this I'm gonna make a nice cup of tea which just sounds so good i got this sleepy time tea that i used like all the time in college and i haven't had it in years so i'm very excited to have some tonight and then another treat that i'm having tonight is i got some ben and jerry's earlier this week like mint chocolate or like mint brownie flavored or something i love mint ice cream i feel like it is so underrated it's so like refreshing so I'm excited to have that. What else is new this week? Oh, one thing, so my two obsessions for the week are the royal family and Princess Diana. Number two is the app Dispo. Have you guys heard of Dispo? Am I like the last one on this train? <laughs> um, so I'm pretty sure Dispo was created by Alex Ohanian who is Serena Williams's husband. I'm pretty sure he partnered with David Dobrik 
who is a YouTuber, but I've like never seen his videos, even though I know he's very popular. So I'm pretty sure they collaborated on this app. And it's basically a, oh, you can see me. It's basically a film camera app, kind of. And you shoot to like different roles that you create. And it's great because it's just so simple. Like you can't add a filter, you can't add a caption. It's just straight up just the pictures. And I love the concept behind the app because it's all about just capturing the simple moments in life because Instagram and even YouTube have become just like obviously the highlight reel. And I remember in like 2011, Instagram was where you would post like your weird, random, weird, like everyday things that you were doing. And now it's just so the opposite of that. And I wanna bring that a little bit more back to Instagram, but now that I found a dispo, I'm like obsessed with dispo. If you have a dispo, then you should definitely follow me. My at is just Mad Cassidy. I highly recommend checking it out because it's really fun. And it's a really interesting new way of doing social media. It's not necessarily as social as other social media platforms the way that we currently use them. Also, by this ramble, can you tell that I'm a marketing person? <laughs> like, I geek out over this kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm loving Dispo. Definitely follow me on there, check it out. And even if you don't follow me, you should just download the app because it's really fun and really cool. This isn't really an obsession this week, but it's something that I've been doing. I'm actually starting to develop a nighttime routine, which I've really never had one. I get so tired at night, like so tired to the point where I can't do anything. So I have learned that the trick for myself to do my nighttime routine is to just start it earlier so that I can actually make sure that I'm awake enough to do the things that I want to do. Um, so I'm thinking about making a nighttime routine video probably a little bit more in the future because I want to like actually had this as my night routine before I like broadcast it to the world. What I've been doing is making sure I do like my full dental routine because I'm a dental health freak. Um, and then a little bit of skincare, but like not too much, mostly just like cleansing my face and maybe moisturizer if my face is dry. Um, and journaling because I, if you've watched my videos before, you probably know that I love journaling, but I just have a hard time sometimes with it because if I miss a day or two or three, then I just feel like I have so many things that I want to say and it's too overwhelming to actually put pen to paper and write down what I'm thinking. I really want to make a point to journal every single day. Also, putting this thing away like before I'm in my bed and and then ending the night with reading a good book. You're actually resting on the book that I'm reading right now. It's called Mistress of the Ritz. If you like historical fiction, then you should definitely check it out. I'm at a really sad point right now though. So like, I can't like 100% recommend it. I really hope that it gets turned around, but I'm, I'm worried because it's not looking good right now guys but it's super well well written and it's about a time period that i love during world war ii that's like a weird thing to say that i love that time because obviously it was a terrible time in history but i'm just fascinated by it and that's like one of my favorite time periods to read about and i love historical fiction so this book's just right up my alley um so i've been reading that every night before bed i have been talking for 10 minutes now Hopefully I cut some of this out because it was definitely a long ramble. Also, guys, my hair, it's so short. It's so short. I'm still loving it though. Like I, it's just so fun and free. Um, okay, back to what I was saying. It's been 10 minutes of me talking over 10 minutes now. So I'm going to close out this vlog. I know it was all over the place, but it's actually, I started this vlog a week ago today because I started it last Friday. So. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked it. Definitely comment if something resonated with you. If you tried the Starbucks oat milk yet, or if you've been having beautiful spring weather near you, comment about that. Um, anything that you do in your nighttime routine, comment that. Just comment anything you want. I love talking to you guys in the comments, so please comment below. I will definitely respond to you. And while you're at it, make sure to subscribe, like the video, 
and follow me on Instagram and I will see you in my next video.